everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a transitional outfits styling video. So it has been quite a long time since I did a styling video and I'm going to get back into them. I think I missed summer outfits, maybe? Um, and I think I might have missed spring outfits as well. I'm not sh too sure, I can't really remember. But summer is not my favorite time of the year in terms of fashion. I don't really like dressing for summer. It doesn't really excite me. But now that the weather is turning a little bit, getting a little bit cooler and we're heading towards autumn, I thought that I would show you some transitional outfits. So this is not gonna be a capsule collection video like my styling videos sometimes are. I'm gonna save that for more autumn focused outfits. And then obviously I'll do winter as well but this is literally just six outfits that I have put together from what I already have in my wardrobe some new bits some pieces you will have seen before from last year or from the springtime and these are just six looks I have been wearing recently and I think make good transitional outfits so I am going to get straight into it and share them with you. As always, everything will be linked in the description box down below and if the exact item is not available, then I will find something as similar as possible for you. I have a few kind of on-trend pieces um, in this styling video and the first one is this gorgeous cardigan. Now, I actually got this two years ago from Zara. It's a beautiful like off-white creamy colour, gorgeous like kind of mohair, big tortoiseshell buttons down the front. It's a size medium so it's a little bit oversized but obviously as it's old it's no longer available but I have found a very similar cream one for you. Underneath that I just have my plain white t-shirt. This one is from Arquette, it's just one of their thinner ones, um, it's quite old but it's really good quality and a really nice shape and I wear this in a size medium as well. To go with this outfit, keeping it nice and casual, I have a pair of black trousers. These ones are wide leg. I have a couple of pairs of black wide leg trousers, another pair which you will see later on in this video this is actually a new pair um you'll be able to see them obviously in the trial clip what they look like on these are just a slightly more like smarter thicker pair than the ones that um feature later in the video those are quite a thin material and these ones are more of kind of like smarter trouser um so more appropriate as the weather is getting a little bit colder then i've just popped on my converse with this outfit i am loving my black and white converse recently i feel like they've made a little bit of a comeback i have had this particular pair for i think how long have i had them for I want to say about seven or eight years, a very, very long time, and I still wear them now, so they are definitely a timeless piece, but I just love this monochrome look. Obviously, you can remove the cardigan if it is a slightly warmer day, but I do think the cardigan kind of makes this outfit. Maybe you could tie it around your shoulders or something. Um, but yeah, just as nice, casual, comfy look. That would be great for running errands, going shopping, a casual lunch. It's a very, very versatile outfit. Next up, we have an outfit that I actually wore yesterday. Um, I went shopping with the girls in London yesterday, which you will see in an upcoming vlog. I wore this outfit. I was actually way too hot in it. Um, I definitely underestimated how warm it was going to be but I had on this gorgeous Arquette trench this is the short one that I got last year I absolutely love it it's quite expensive I think it's around 120 130 pounds but I don't think that's too bad for a good quality good fitting trench coat ideally I would have got this in an extra small the small I think fits fine but is just a tiny bit too big especially when I'm wearing it as I've styled it here um, with the skirt and the bare legs um, I think just slightly more fitted would have worked better but I still love this trench and because it is that bit bigger it does mean I can layer it quite well like over hoodies and stuff this trench looks great with all black as I paired it with here but it also looks great with like a white t-shirt and blue denim very very versatile piece and like I said I can layer with like jumpers and hoodies underneath it so it is a great transitional piece to take into the autumn underneath I just have on a plain black t-shirt this one is old from Everlane but I have linked a very similar one down below and then I have on this skirt that I got recently from Zara. Obviously, it's skirt in the front, shorts in the back. It's super comfortable. It's got a really nice kind of split at the side. Because it's a skirt, I don't feel uncomfortable wearing it. I was tempted by a uh, mango mini skirt, which was the same as this and had like a little split. But I'm so glad I went for the skirt version because... I don't feel like I'd be pulling it down when I'm walking. I don't feel conscious that it's too short. It's just really, really comfortable. Um, and this I got in a size extra small from Zara. And then to finish off the look, I've got on my 
little black Prada loafers. I'm very excited to have these back out again. I have missed wearing them so much. Now that they're like fully broken in, they're really comfortable. As I said, I wore this look yesterday around London and the loafers didn't rub me at all. I've also just got on some little black socks with them as well. This look would also work really well with tights or like longer stockings if that's more your thing. Equally, you could swap the score out for a pair of like black mum jeans if the bare leg weather does not last. So the third outfit is another trench coat focused outfit. This this is my favourite trench coat and I got this last year from Massimo Dutti. I absolutely adore it. It's such a gorgeous colour, like the perfect beige and it just fits perfectly. You'll be able to see in the cutaway what I mean by that. The quality is insane. It does not crease. It's just a gorgeous fitting trench coat and believe me, it took me a while to find this. I tried a lot of different trench coats. Um, most of them either like too big, too long too thin the wrong color um, and then i finally found this one unfortunately it is no longer in stock but i have found a really really similar one from mango that i will link down below but it is always worth checking the massimo website just to see if it comes back in stock um if it does or if you find it on ebay or something like that i'm wearing this in a size small you could definitely get away with sizing down but i just preferred a slightly more oversized fit under that i've just got on my plain black vest top from zara this is super old but it's a really nice kind of like slinky material just a great basic to have and then i have paired this with a pair of cream wide leg trousers again these are zara i wear them in a size extra small they are just called the full length trousers i have the black ones to show you in a minute um, and these are really nice for this time of year because they're a really like light flowy material so they keep you nice and cool obviously as the weather gets colder you could swap kind of the vest top for a long sleeve basic and the cream trousers for black but for now while the sun is still shining i thought i'd make the most of the cream trousers and then again i've just popped on my converse because i love them so much and i feel like they work really really nicely with this outfit i also wore this outfit with a pair of white cropped jeans and it looked quite nice as well so lots of different options there so for outfit number four we have the black wide leg trousers that i mentioned earlier the same as the cream ones that i just showed you these are great for this time of year because they are a bit looser a bit more casual than these ones that i showed you with the first outfit i'd say these are definitely more evening and these are definitely more daytime i just wanted to show you both in this video again i wear these in a size extra small they are super long um so that's just something to be aware of i don't mind a long trouser they do end up a little bit dirty along the bottom as you can see there i do need to wash these ones but i just like an extra long trouser i think it's a bit more chic and it makes my legs look a little bit longer with the trousers i have paired this striped crop from zara i love stripes at the moment and this is just a really cute basic just mixes it up a little bit as opposed to wearing like a plain black or a plain white vest top over the top i've then got on my arquette blazer in the camel color i absolutely love this i wear this in a size i think it's a 36 i can't see the label but i think this is a size 36 and it's a nice oversized fit and super handy and i think the camel and the stripes work really well together and for this outfit i thought i would go with my dad's sandals i feel like they work quite nicely obviously if the weather's not great you can swap them out for a pair of trainers but whilst i can i am making the most of the warmer weather and i'm gonna pop sandals on where i can these dad sandals i'm wearing are old from sheen i actually got them i think two years ago and um they were super affordable they're such a good dupe for the chanel ones i think they were like 13.99 or something ridiculous um and i always get so many questions on them but they are sold out so i have linked the june ones which are more expensive but they are a good dupe perhaps not the best thing to buy now as we are heading into autumn um i'm sure any other kind of black sandal that you already own would work or like i said a pair of trainers next up we have my favorite kind of look i love a very simple blue jeans black blazer white vest top kind of look it's so easy you guys probably already have these items in your wardrobe so you don't need to go out and buy them it's a really kind of comfortable casual look but it still looks quite chic if you kind of wear the items in the right way so here i have my favorite blue jeans these are from weekday they are the row jeans and this is shade summer blue i absolutely adore these i've had them for a couple of years now and they are my favorite straight leg jeans again this is something that i searched low and high for i tried so many different pairs and these ones just fit me so nicely i actually sized up in these to a waist 28 
um, for more of like an oversized fit. I wear a waist 28 leg 32. So they're quite loose around my waist. They sit kind of just below the belly and they're a little bit longer as well, which I really, really like. Just kind of like that loose baggy feel. I have actually ordered these recently in my normal size um, and a slightly sh shorter length as well, just to see what the fit is like, because I've been looking for something a little bit tighter fitting. So I will let you know how I got on with those. But yeah, I absolutely love these jeans. I think they're fairly reasonably priced as well, like £40, which I don't think is too bad for a pair of jeans. Then to go with, I have my classic black blazer. I don't do a video without this blazer. It is super old from Zara. I wear a size medium in Zara blazers, um, but this is very, very similar to the Arquette one which is the camel one that I have here. So I have linked that down below. And then underneath, I just have this gorgeous ribbed vest top from Pretty Lavish. I love their basics. And this is a really good vest top to wear this time of year because it's knitted. So it's kind of a little bit thicker and it gives that kind of autumn look, but still being nice and cool because it is a vest top. And then this whole look I have just paired with my Birkenstock clogs, the Boston ones, which I absolutely love. I wear them so much, I wore them so much throughout summer, they're super comfortable, they are so hard to get hold of, so I will leave the link down below, it's worth signing up to email notifications on every possible website that you can, I just think they are so chic and they're not going anywhere, just don't wear them in the rain. And finally for look number six, we have another kind of trend piece here, um, this is a gorgeous like black tweed jacket, very Chanel inspired. And if you watched one of my recent vlogs, you will have seen this jacket. Got it from Urban Reviver as part of um, some paid work that I did with them. But I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to wear this out. This is an outfit they have planned for the weekend coming up. Um, I just love it. I got the jacket in a size small. It's a really good size actually. I don't think I'd want it any bigger or any smaller. The quality is really, really good as well. I've just paired a plain black vest top. The same one is in outfit number three. Um, and then I have these gorgeous black straight leg jeans from Zara. Again, these are new and they will be featured in an upcoming Zara haul, but I just thought that this outfit works so, so nicely together. These jeans are amazing. I will talk more about them in the haul, but they fit so nicely. Another thing that I've been looking for for ages is a good fitting pair of black jeans. So I'm very pleased I got my hands on them. I wear them in a size eight. And then obviously just finished off the look with some black accessories. I've got my Prada loafers on again. I feel like these look really, really nice with an all black look. Fab with the straight leg jeans. You could also wear blue denim as well with this. I think it would look really, really nice. Not ideal that the hardware on the loafers is silver and the hardware on here is gold. I do kind of like to mix and match my jewelry. So hopefully it doesn't look too bad. So those are the six transitional outfits that I had to show you guys I really hope you enjoyed seeing them do let me know in the comments which one was your favorite hopefully the weather is not going to turn too awful so we do get a chance to wear clothes like this if you want to see more styling videos just let me know exactly what you'd like to see in the comments I do have a autumn like occasion evening looks I have an autumn kind of like date night looks and autumn casual outfits as well as an autumn capsule wardrobe kind of all floating around my head whether I'll have time to do all of those things before autumn is over I don't know but we will see I'm also trying to up my upload schedule to two videos a week so do keep an eye out every Sunday and every Wednesday evening at 6 30 because I am going to try my best to stick to that if you did enjoy this video it would be amazing if you could give it a like if you are new to my channel I would love it if you subscribed and I will see you all very soon with another video bye